Welcome to a lesson on like terms. In this lesson, we'll be identifying like terms as well as combining like terms. Terms whose variable factors are exactly the same, meaning they have the same letters and the same exponents, are called like terms. Let's begin by identifying the like terms of each of the following expressions. Our first expression, we have 3a minus 6a plus 10a minus a. Notice all four of these terms have exactly one factor of a, and therefore all four terms are like terms. And let's go ahead and list them. We have 3a, the second term would be negative 6a, the third term is 10a, and the fourth term is negative a. Our next expression, we have 5x minus 10y plus 6z minus 3x. Notice how we have a total of four terms, but only two of them are like terms, because only two of them have the exact same variable factors. Notice this first term, 5x, has exactly one factor of x, and so does the last term of negative 3x. So these are the two like terms. Like terms are 5x and negative 3x. Notice how the two middle terms, negative 10y and 6z, don't have the same variable factors, and therefore don't have any like terms in this expression. And then finally, our last expression, we have 7n plus 3n squared minus 2n cubed plus 8n squared plus n minus n cubed. So looking at this first term, 7n, notice how it is exactly one factor of n. The only other term that has exactly one factor of n is this term here of n. Notice the second term is 3n squared, which has two factors of n. The only other term that has exactly two factors of n is this term here of 8n squared. And finally, the third term of negative 2n cubed has exactly three factors of n, and the last term is the only other term that has exactly three factors of n, so these two terms are like terms. So we have three pairs of like terms, 7n and n are like terms, 3n squared, and 8n squared are like terms, and then finally negative 2n cubed and negative n cubed are like terms. Now that we can identify like terms, we'll look at these same three expressions again, but now we'll combine the like terms. To combine like terms, we add or subtract the coefficients, and the variable factor remains the same. So again, for this first expression, we already know we have four like terms, but for this last term here, which is negative a, let's write this as minus one a. So when we combine these four like terms, the term will still have exactly one factor of a, but the coefficient is going to be the sum or difference of these coefficients. So we'd have three minus six plus 10 minus one. Well, three minus six plus 10 minus one is equal to six, so these four like terms combine and are equal to 6a. Looking at the next expression, we already recognize that the only two like terms are 5x and negative 3x. So these are the only two terms that we can combine. When we combine them, they will still have exactly one factor of x, and the coefficient is going to be five minus three. And the two other terms stay the same. We'll have minus 10y, plus 6z. So notice how, of course, five minus three is equal to two, so this simplifies to two x minus 10y plus 6z. Now after a while, you'll probably stop showing this step here and this step here, and simply add or subtract the coefficients in your head. But for this lesson, we'll go ahead and keep showing this extra work. Looking at our last expression, we already know that seven n and n are like terms, as well as three n squared and eight n squared, as well as negative two n cubed and negative n cubed. Let's go ahead and write the coefficients in for these last two terms. We'll write this as plus one n and minus one n cubed. So now we'll go ahead and combine the n terms, so we'll still have a factor of n, and the coefficient is going to be seven plus one and now we'll combine the n squared terms, so we'll still have a factor of n squared. The coefficient is going to be three plus eight, 
And finally, when we combine the n cubed terms, we'll still have a factor of n cubed, and the coefficient is going to be negative two minus one. Simplifying, we have eight n, and then plus 11n squared, and then we'd have plus, this would be negative three. We don't want to leave this last term in this form here. Adding a negative is equivalent to subtracting a positive. So let's first write this as 8n plus 11n squared, and then minus three n cubed. But there's one more thing that we should do for this last expression. We should write this expression in descending order. To write the expression in descending order, we first write the term with the highest degree first, or the term with the highest exponent on the variable. So notice how negative three n cubed is the term with the highest degree, so that term would come first, followed by the term with the next highest degree, which should be 11 n squared, so plus 11 n squared. And then finally we have positive eight n, so we have plus eight n. So while these two expressions are equivalent, it is best to write the expression in this form here, which is called descending order. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.